the worker who spoke out, she's a paraprofessional, and I was a paraprofessional when I was in college. It's a great job. You get to help kids with special needs get through their school day and follow the instructions of the teacher. But when I was doing it, there was always a teacher working with me, and in this case, there's not always. Audrey Ewing is a part-time paraprofessional at the Berger Baylor School in the Garden City School District. She says she fears her students won't reach their full potential. We have no curriculum. There is no curriculum in many classes because there are still no teachers in numerous classes. A month into the school year. You have a pair pro like myself and then they call in substitute teachers that don't necessarily have any background with these autistic students and we just try and get them to do stuff. Ewing says staff have been told not to speak about this with parents, but she felt an obligation to be the voice of the kids. Even if I lose my job over this, I care about these students. My student that I've been with um, several times and I'm with her today, she needs to have a stable person with her every day. Are there challenges daily with staffing? Yes, I mean, and we're dealing right now, like I said, with a major teacher shortage across the state. Superintendent Derek Fisher says there was a severe shortage of teachers certified to teach kids with autism. He says the district is desperately looking. There is an adequate funding for education right now. Fisher says the district simply can't offer enough pay to get teachers to take open jobs. This school serves kids from all over Wayne County. He's calling on Wayne County residents to vote for the Regional Educational Enhancement Millage to increase funding by about $385 per student in their schools. And what that'll do, that'll have a trickle down effect into the classroom. So absolutely, that will definitely help the situation. Audrey says kids don't have time to wait for a millage. This program is a wonderful program and we have children that come in from all over the county. But we need to be able to educate them and help them and aid them. And if we can't do that, you need to find another solution. The question is if kids couldn't come to this school because perhaps say, say the district didn't let more students enroll because they didn't have enough teachers, then where would they go? This is a problem that we are seeing across the state in many districts. There are simply not enough teachers for many to fill all the openings that there are. If you're concerned about an issue at your child's school, we want to know about it. Email me at fixmyschool at wxyz.com. Reporting live, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. Yeah, Kim, I'm curious, how many teachers are you talking about and do they have to be special ed teachers? Now, this paraprofessional, she is a part-time paraprofessional, so she goes from classroom to classroom, and she says she knows of at least five classrooms at this school where they do not have a special education teacher. The openings are posted. The district is trying to hire, but they simply haven't been filled. All right, Kim. Kim Russell, thank you as usual. Thank you.